So let's talk about some of the risks involved in using the system. So there are two categories of risks that you need to be aware of. Uh, the most important is your safety. Uh, so we want uh, to minimize risks to sort of your own health. And the main source of risks to your health is the dibenzyl ether. So again, this reservoir in here, which right now has a lid on it, is filled with a chemical that is toxic and corrosive. And so we don't want you to touch that with your bare hands or to touch anything that might have been in contact with that chemical with your bare hands. So the way we avoid doing that is we have every element um, in sort of this room that you might need to uh, use to operate the system has a sticker on it. If the sticker is red, that means you should only touch that element with gloves. If the sticker is green, then you should only touch that element with your bare hands. So you'll see um, that on the microscope table itself, there are only uh, four things that you need to touch with gloves. Every other thing you should touch without gloves. So the four things that you need to touch with gloves are the bottle of ethanol that you will use to clean minor spills or to clean the objective, this plate, this lid, and then the fourth thing is the only thing that you shouldn't touch without gloves, but that is not labeled because it actually goes into the DBE reservoir, and it is this part of the objective, okay? Every other thing here, so this wrench, which we'll need later, these knobs, the joystick, this part of the objective, as well as everything on the computer, you should not be wearing gloves, okay? If you do, you will contaminate it, uh, and so that we definitely don't want that. So please observe that glove rule. The other part of the, this room that you will use is um, this fume hood, and basically everything in here you should touch with gloves. There is nothing in there that you should touch without gloves. So um, again, everything in here with gloves, everything on the computer without gloves, and on the system, most of it is without gloves, but there are a few key elements that I've pointed out that are only with gloves, okay? So how do we keep track of when to put on gloves and when to remove them? You'll see, and we'll go over this later, that for mounting samples, changing samples, and shutdown, we have detailed instructions on the wall. These instructions are designed in a way such that they minimize the number of times you need to put on your gloves and remove them. They have those blocks that you can see there of gray, and those blocks are the things that you should do with gloves and everything else is without gloves. So you'll see if you look more closely that the last instruction before the gray block is to put on the gloves and the, last, the first instruction after the gray block is to remove your gloves. So we will be going over that in much more detail later, but basically observe the glove rule to keep yourself safe.